from North East West and today we're going to be making beeswax wrappers. Beeswax wrappers are a great alternative to cling wrap. You can cover your bowls with them and you can wrap your food in that keeps them nice and fresh, sandwiches, all sorts of things. Only things you can't use your beeswax wrappers for is meat for bacterial reasons and citrus because it's just a little bit too acidic and abrasive on the wax. So to make a beeswax wrapper you need some material and you can use recycled material as well. So if you have some old sheets, pillowcases, an old shirt or skirt that's no longer good for that use, you can chop them up into all different shapes and sizes and make some wrappers out of it. It just needs to be a fairly thin, fine material. What else you need is a baking tray, a cheese grater, some wax, two to three hundred grams, a pair of tongs, and either a silicon scraper or you can use a pastry brush or a paintbrush just with natural bristles on it, not synthetic ones or you might melt them. And you need a little clean workspace, but especially in your kitchen because wax is super sticky. So I have got an old tea towel here and I actually have an old hessian bag that I put underneath just to give me some heat protection on my bench as well. So I've actually doubled it up a little bit on the far end because when I pull my tray out of the oven, I like it to be a little bit higher one end so that the wax easily drains down to one end of the tray. So all we need to do to get started is preheat your oven to 85 degrees and grate up some wax. Alrighty, so pop your material on your tray. If you'd like to make a bigger one, you can actually double the material over. So I, I suggest to people, Get a tray that is as big as will fit in your oven so that you can make really big beeswax wrappers. So it's just a matter of laying your material on there. About two spoons full, full of wax, grated wax sprinkled over it. Just nice and evenly. Doesn't need to be too perfect because as the wax turns to a liquid, it will just soak through the material. So there we are, it's just like making a pizza. Sprinkle that on there and then we pop it in the oven. And that will take about five minutes to melt. Okay, so that's been five minutes now, so that should be nice and melted. Just take it out of the oven. I like using the tongs because um, oven mitts just get too um, stiff after you've used them a few times with the wax on them. So this ends a little bit higher, remember, and then any little edges that are a bit pale might not have enough wax on them, so just push it out towards those edges. And you're just scraping off just that excess wax and letting it gather at the bottom of the tray there. So lift that off. And if you find it starts sticking to the tray, just pop it back into the oven and have another go. So it only takes about 40, 50 seconds to cool down enough to be able to use it. and that's not sticky anymore, so I'm just gonna sit that down. You can just pop, hang them on the line, peg them to the line. Um, so, all you need is some cotton material, your wax, your grater, something to scrape it with. Tongs are great for moving things around, a tray, and just put it all together as your little wax kit. And make lots of them. So, make some for your bowls. You definitely need a nice big one for your salad bowl. They're fantastic for wrapping bread in, so get into making some big ones, some small ones for all those tiny little bits and pieces. You can fold them up and make little bags as well to pop treats in. Okay, so that's cooled down enough now. So all you need to do is scrunch that up, like you're scrunching up a piece of paper to get it nice and flexible. Unwrap it, scrunch it up again. And you'll notice it just gets nice and soft and flexible and even a little bit sticky. So stretch them out there and it's ready to go to work. Pop it over your bowl and you use the heat of your hands to mould the wax wrapper into shape. And that will seal airtight around your bowl. Same with these ones, this is a little bit of cheese. It's fantastic for cheese, especially when the wrapper's fallen away and um, you've just got a little bit left. So wrap it all up there and it will just squash perfectly 
into shape there. So you can seal that right up. Fruit and veggies, onions, capsicums, and it keeps your food fresh and moist as well. So they won't dry out your sandwiches. Now all you need to do to clean your beeswax wrapper is just give it a rinse under the tap. Um, if it's got anything oily, some yogurt or something like that on, you might need to use a little bit of detergent and maybe a little bit of warm water, but don't use hot and don't use them in the microwave. So wrap your sandwiches in it, fruit and veggies, all sorts of things, just not your meat. Enjoy your beeswax wrappers. Thank you.